Here is another functionally extinct animal that you may or may not have heard of, the Barbary lion. The Barbary lion was a subspecies of the regular African lion that was found in the northern areas of Africa. It ranged quite widely from Egypt all the way through Liberia and Algeria over into Morocco and was largely noted as staying in the Atlas mountain range. Now, Barbary lions do have a pretty long history themselves, dating back to the Roman times and even earlier, where they were used in gladiatorial games. However, they have been declared to be functionally extinct since the 1920s. This photo up here is considered to be the last photo of a wild Barbary lion taken in the 20s. However, alleged sightings of them did occur up until the 40s and even rarely into the 60s. Now, pretty much the entire reason for the extinction of the Barbary lion was hunting by humans. They were noted as attacking livestock and even other people, and so were hunted very, very strongly, so much so that the wild population was completely decimated. However, I did say that they are functionally extinct and extinct in the wild because there are lions in captivity that are stated to be descendants of the last few Barbary lions. There were a good amount of Barbary lions taken from Morocco and kept in various menageries and zoos all around the world in the 20s and such. And so there is a decent population of lions now in captivity that share many characteristics of the historical Barbary lions and are thought to be direct descendants. Barbary lions were noted as being much, much darker overall than other lion subspecies. As you can see up here in this male, it has quite a darker mane than is normally associated with other male lions. And they also were one of, if not the largest lion subspecies, and lions are large cats in general, and the Barbary lions were even larger large cats. Multiple zoos and institutions do claim to have descendants of the last remaining Barbary lions in their care. However, as far as I'm aware, the jury is still out regarding genetic analysis if these are the actual descendants of the last Barbary lions or if they're modern lions that just share quite a few characteristics with the Barbary lions. However, that does not currently change the fact that they are still extinct in the wild, but hopefully if genetic analysis can confirm that the ones in captivity are in fact related to the last true Barbary lions, there can start to be a kind of reintroduction project going in order to reintroduce them back into their historical range.